I'd had a, a mole on my back that had itched, I'd asked my regular doctor about, um, who said it was nothing, but she would remove it um, to, to make me feel better and just to check to see what it was. And about six days later, she called me in and to tell me that it was nodular melanoma. And she immediately, the next day, had already scheduled an appointment with me with a surgical oncologist. So that's when you know it's pretty, <laughs> pretty serious. Being diagnosed with stage three, um, the only real treatment at the time was to do um, interferon. And so I started to research that to see if, if that would be a better option for me. And that's when they, they found that I had nodules on my lungs. And so that was um, only about three months after I was originally diagnosed. And they did a video um, assisted thoracopy to, to biopsy those in my lungs to confirm whether or not it was melanoma. And then it confirmed it was melanoma in the lungs. When you hear you have stage four, you know, my first reaction to my doctors was, I've never even had strep throat, right? I, I can count on one hand the number of times I've had a prescription for something, and, and you kind of go in, into fight mode. What are we gonna do to fix it? How do we get rid of it? How do we cure it? And I have a, a pretty good team where, you know, it's, what's the plan, right? So what's plan A, what's a backup plan? Um, what, we, what can we do to be most successful with fighting it? As far as curing it, you know, when you start to research melanoma, what you really hear most of the time is that, especially once it gets to stage four, there's no cure. Um, so that's a little hard to hear because, you know, you want to be able to fight it and survive. But luckily, I think with a lot of the clinical trials and new drugs that are coming out, um, I think they're getting closer, um, or at least having it be more of a, a manageable disease as opposed to a death sentence when you get diagnosed. What you start to learn about the traditional chemotherapies versus now targeted therapies and now these immunotherapies, um, you know, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. It makes sense, right, um, to get your immune system revved up to fight stuff versus just blasting your body with all these harsh chemicals. Um, you know, there's a, you see a lot of research and, and development going on in that area. So with this trial in the immunotherapy, I've been on it about a year and a half now and continue to have scans that show no new disease um, and, and no growth of the, the spots that were left. So it's pretty amazing. I think having these good responses for a long time, and, and I know a year and a half doesn't seem that long, but it gives a lot of hope you know, to me as a patient and then to other people that are newly diagnosed that you know, maybe we're, we're getting closer to, to a cure and managing this.